Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Best Bites Forever. I'm Chef Alicia. How is everybody doing today? I'm doing really well, and today I have a great recipe to share with you. This is a super versatile recipe for mango chutney. I really love this one because it is really well balanced, so you can use it on a lot of different things. It's good on fish, it's good on chicken, it's good on pork chops, crab cakes, and it's also really delicious on a cheese ball, which I just happened to have made in my last video. You can check that out if you would like to and enjoy the recipe. I'm starting off here by dicing up one onion. So you'll notice that I left the root in on the onion and that's because it just makes it a little bit easier to dice. It kind of holds it together for you while you're dicing the onion up. So once I get that all finished, I'm going to move over here to my stove and that is three tablespoons of coconut oil going into my hot pan along with the onion that we just now chopped and then two tablespoons of shredded up ginger. And I like to shred a bunch of ginger at once and freeze it and then I just kind of have it ready to go. I'm also adding in one teaspoon of red pepper flakes and that's my little girl Alicia stirring for us and then one teaspoon of kosher salt is also going to go in. Now I'm going to go over here to my mangoes and I'm using two different types and I will be using two of each type. So go ahead and peel those and give them a nice little dice and try to keep your pieces even so that you have a pretty chutney at the end. The next thing that I'm going to do is chop up my peppers and I am using six of the little sweet baby peppers. I'm going to chop up my pineapple next and if you're not sure how to go about chopping up a pineapple you can go over to my how to chop up a pineapple video and I will show you how to do it properly. It's really not that hard once you see it done. So once your pineapple is all chopped up we're going to go over here to our onion which has been on for about 20 minutes and it is beautifully caramelized. I am adding in the peppers that we just chopped up along with the mango and my little helper is going to stir it while I add in some other stuff. So the pineapple is going into the pan now and we do have a few more things to put in. So the next thing that we're adding in is going to be a half of a cup of brown sugar and you can use dark or light. We also added in some Chinese five spice and then we're going to add in a half of a cup of apple cider vinegar and we are going to give that a nice stir and bring it up to a simmer. So once you achieve your simmer, you have these nice little bubbles going. It is time to put a lid on this. So I'm going to cover this up and I'm going to let it cook for about 30 minutes and you're definitely going to want to open it up and give it a little stir every now and then. Once this is finished and it's beautiful and looks like this, it is all done and I will be serving mine on top of a cheese ball, which is just a great contrast between the creaminess and the acidity of the fruit. And we are all finished here. Thank you so much for watching and happy cooking everyone!